Hi there, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to add buttons to your game in Unity. In the previous two videos we've looked at how to add labels and how to add boxes to the GUI and here we're going to have a look at how to add buttons. Okay, so basically I've got a scene here, I've got um, a terrain with a first person controller and I already have created a GUI script here, so I just right clicked in the asset panel, clicked on create C sharp script, and then I called it GUI script and dragged it onto my first person controller up here. So if I scroll down on the inspector panel in the first person controller, I've got my GUI script there, which I'm going to open in mono develop. All right, now I've already added the method here that we need to, to use to add um, GUI controls like labels and boxes and buttons and things like that. So I've already got void on GUI and inside here I'm going to add my GUI elements. So I'm going to add a button and basically a button can have two states on or off. So it's either being clicked or it's not being clicked and holding down the mouse cursor or the mouse button on top of a button will not actually have any different effect, it won't have any difference. So um, there's another GUI control that we use for that if you want to hold down the mouse. So basically it's either, it's just click once. So um, it's either being clicked or not being clicked and holding down the mouse doesn't make a difference. Okay, so because there's two states, there's um, basically true or false. Um, so on or off or clicked or not clicked we need to use an if statement. So we're going to say if GUI, and just like we've used before, GUI.label, GUI.box, this time we're going to use GUI.button, okay? And new rect, and then exactly like before with labels and boxes, we need to add parameters for the X position, the Y position on the screen of where the button's going to be placed, as well as the width and height separated with commas. So um, I'm going to put this button in the top left corner. So zero for X and zero for Y position. It's going to be a width of 80 and a height of 20. Okay. And then the text, I'm going to add a comma here. The text or the string message that I'm going to display on this button is just click me. All right. And then I'm going to close the two brackets there and add uh, my curly brackets for the what will actually happen if this if statement evaluates to, to true. So inside the if statement, I'm going to just say um, print the button was clicked. So I'll display a message in the console. Okay, simple as that. So basically, this line, what it's saying is if the button is being pressed, um, just do this. So if the button's being pressed, do this. But at the same time, it's giving the information about what the button needs to look like and where it's going to be placed and um, you know, what, what text is going to be on that button. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to Unity and I'm going to click on play. And there we go. We have our button up in the um, top left corner here. And when I click on it, I'll just open up the console. When I click on that button, I get that message in the console there saying the button was clicked. Okay, so I can keep clicking on it individually and it will keep displaying the message. If I click and hold it down, it doesn't keep saying the button was clicked several times. It will just say it once. So it doesn't really make any difference. All right, I'm going to stop that. And this time I'm going to go back to Mono Develop. Now, um, we've got code here just basically displaying the message the button was clicked. So print, the button was clicked. But of course, you could add some other instructions there, so maybe to increase the value of something. So, um, you know, maybe um, there might be some sort of object in your game that you want to increase, I don't know, increase the strength of or um, increase the size of or something like that. So you could increase or decrease values there. Um, or say if you had like a torch and you wanted to turn the brightness up or turn it down, then you might have different buttons there for that, that you can click on it or change the values there. Um, so that's what I've got here. I've just got a print message. I'm also going to show you what you can 
click on to reset a scene. So I'm going to add application dot load level and in brackets, I'm going to put the name of the level or the scene. So in this case, the scene is called mountain. All right, so I'm going to put mountain spelt exactly as it is with the capital M and that line with the semicolon. So basically this is when I click on the button and I'm going to change the text on the button. I'm going to click on reset, or, sorry, make it reset. And when I click on the reset button, it's going to reload that scene or that level. All right, so I'm going to click on play. And now the button says reset. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to move somewhere else. All right, now when I click on reset, it should take me back to the original position. There we go, it reloads the entire scene. Now if you had time counting in this scene or you had um, some variables that had changed, like a score has ch had changed or something like that, or enemies had moved in different positions, all of that would be reset and reloaded, okay? Um, so that's how to reload a level or a scene in Unity. And it's also how to create buttons in Unity. All right, thanks for watching.